guess what we're doing today. Hello YouTube, I'm Brandon Slayton. I'm Eric Gutierrez. And we are Freebird Parker, bringing you another YouTube tutorial for the Kong Vault today. Let's get into it. Uh, we also apologize for the background noise. Uh, we have a lot of things to do today. So we had to squeeze this video in. There's lots of instruments playing, so we also apologize for that. Hope that this video turns out so you can hear our voices and everything. But uh, other than that, hope you learn the Kong Kong. For this video, I won't be able to into it. Like, I won't interact with it, so go ahead. Then. All right. Uh, the basic mechanics for this vault, very simple. Uh, little tricky things. I'm gonna start first off by saying you want to get something that's uh, you don't want to get anything higher than your chest to start with this vault. So I'm using this uh, center block piece of stone here. Yeah, not the best, but it works. Uh, you can also start on benches, tables, pretty much anything. Uh, uh, first, I'm gonna go into the split step of going into the actual vault, and then we will uh, show you the entire thing. All right. Okay, guys. So what the split step is? It's pretty much. Uh, a little it's like a stepping maneuver that helps you uh, gain momentum for your kong ball it's very important for this because you don't want to punch your kongs because that doesn't give you enough force and stuff so what the split step is is pretty much uh you're starting off like this and you step forward with your arms back and then once your arms get forward you get your feet really close together and lift up with both feet so it looks like this it's like that kind of like a skipping maneuver okay so, just remember really slow, it's like that, okay? So that's the split step, and you want to learn this because doing this vault, it's very important. It's what gives you your momentum. The hands in, the, in this vault really only guide you, okay? Okay, now for the hand maneuvers in this vault. The hand maneuvers is pretty much the same thing as a monkey up, which is pretty much you get your hands decently, like shoulder width, probably a little bit wider, and you drive your knees through in between your hands. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna have your hands, and you're gonna jump through like this. But your feet's not gonna touch the obstacle, I'm just doing this so you get the basic maneuver. This is also a really good progression. So, doing this anytime, it's very helpful. Just, uh, you can also do it on smaller things, you know? I would recommend little benches, little, just anything little, little step stool. You can even do it on a curb. I mean, it's not cool, but still, you can do it. It helps with progression, so you just get your hands onto the obstacle, hop up, put your feet in between your hands, okay? Do that a couple times if you're not comfortable. I know a lot of people have fear of clipping their feet when they're doing Kongs. Um, don't clip your feet. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's the hand maneuvers. Now, I'm going to explain a little bit more in depth on the entire maneuver as a whole. And that's, uh, that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to show you guys the entire maneuver uh, in depth uh, all. So the split step, when you do the split step, it, uh, it, it's very like designed for the Kong. So it also helps for when you're going into your hand placement. So when you do the split step, you put your hands back. So you go back step and then go through it. So that's how it looks. So I'm going to do it really slow so you guys have to get it. I'm going to do the, the split step to monkey up so that you get the idea of what it's going to look like. So it's going to go... That's what that's what the basic maneuver is, and uh, I'm gonna go just a little bit more into depth. Uh, make sure your feet are close together and lead with both. Don't um, just go like this and jump off one foot when you do it. You know, make sure to get both your feet off the ground at the same time when you're doing this. It's kind of like a punch, except a punch you land into it very bad for your feet, bad for your knees. Don't do it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the entire maneuver in a complete sequence. Uh, I'm not going to do the entire vault, I'm just going to do a monkey up so you get the uh, feeling of, you know, getting your feet over the bar with the split step. So, the split step. Very important is what gives you your momentum, as I say. So, the entire vault now, uh, cool vault, uh, just... Okay, I just wanted to tell you guys, very important that when you do this, split step out of your vault as well, which is pretty much land on one foot so you come out in a running stance. So when you do it, uh, basically after the other side of the obstacle and your feet are already through your body, land, don't land like this. Land one foot out so that you can continue running forward, okay? So 
I'm just gonna give you a front angle of the vault so you can see the split step out, okay? Okay, so that's uh, one step out. That's how you get out of the, you know, split step out of the vault. Okay guys, that was the Kong Vault tutorial for you guys. Hope you liked it, enjoy it, you know. Puss, put a like if you did like it. Subscribe if you want more tutorials from us cool new chasseurs and free runners out there, okay? Uh, Sorry, Eric couldn't be more of a assistance in the video. He's still in training, he's but learning. yeah, needs to learn indeed. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get this video up for you guys. Hopefully, you love it. And uh, yeah, have a good day.